So there you go. Now we're doing paper Cornell notes, okay? And again, it's up to you whether you do this or not. But again, you can use it on the day of the test. So I highly recommend that you do. We're on page 24 for the advocates. I wrote down your EQ for you. How do you solve systems of equations using elimination? And we're doing number six, okay? And so let's go ahead and copy the question number six down here. So we have negative 4y, thank you, plus 8x is equal to 16. And then we have 3y plus 21x, and that equals 15. Okay. So guys, I know how important it is for you to write down your steps, okay? So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and write down steps on the right-hand side. Shh. Okay? So... What are we going to do? First thing we got to do is we got to decide, okay? Which one, decide which one to eliminate. We got to decide which one to eliminate. Is it going to be X or Y, okay? So when we decide which one we're going to eliminate, we got to make sure that we have the same coefficient but different symbol, okay? So I'm going to put a star. So we need the same number but we need the different symbols, okay? So I'm going to look, look at this. I have negative 4y and then I have 3y. Different numbers, but they have opposite symbols, right? Now I'm looking at 8 and 21. Same symbol, different numbers. So uh, they're both not so great, okay? So then that means I gotta multiply something to this equation, multiply something to that equation, so we can get something. Right? So in your opinion, it would be would it be easier to eliminate the X or would it be easier to eliminate the Y? Ready? Go. Yeah, you are absolutely right. It would be so much easier to eliminate the Y. It's really sad though that only one person was answering me, right? Okay. So then now, because we have opposite symbols over here, that's already set up. Now we're gonna just try and make the coefficients the same. Okay? All right. So, since we have a negative 4 here and a 3 over here, what is going to be our lowest common um, multiple for negative 4 and 3? Exactly. It's going to be 12. So, we're going to make the top one negative 12 and the bottom one positive 12. Okay? In order for us to do that, guess what we have to do? I'm just copying the equation all over again. What we got to do is multiply this whole thing by 3 and multiply this whole thing by 4. Why am I doing that? Because, guys, the negative 4 times 3 is negative 12, and the 3 times 4 is positive 12. But I can't just multiply to the front number. I got to multiply to everything. Okay? So let's make sure we do this. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute everything, okay? The 3 to the 16, the 8x, and the negative 4y. Same thing with the 4. 15, 21, and the 3y. Okay? So let's go. Negative 12y plus 24x equals 48. Okay? And then we're also going to have 12y plus 84x. And that equals 60, okay? So now, what we're going to do is we're going to add top and bottom. And again, let's not forget to write down steps over here, right? So step number one over here was deciding which one to eliminate. We needed the same number, different symbols. The next thing that we did was multiply a number to whole equation. <coughs> to make coefficient the same, okay? And then third step was add top and bottom. Ooh, I'm just gonna put bot, because I have no space, okay? So now let's add top and bottom, okay? So there you go. Negative 12y plus 12y gives you what? Zero. Okay, so then let's move on to the next thing. I don't have to put zero. 24x plus 84x is going to give you what? 100, yeah, 108x. 
And so now let's go ahead and add 48 and 60 together. What do you get now? Yay, 108. Okay? But I know that I got to leave the X all by itself, right? So then what, does, what do I have to do? Yes, I have to divide both sides by 108. A lot of you, when I was grading your test, if you see a number here, you didn't divide the, the same number by both sides, right? So you got to divide both sides by the same number, okay? So then there you go. Now, x is going to equal 1, okay? So then step number 4 would be what? is to find x, okay? And then now to find the other value, which is y, our next step is to substitute. Okay? Shh. You have to substitute 1 into x, okay, to find y. And that's what we are going to do now, okay? This is very important. We're going to do the same thing over and over and over and over again that Jessica is going to get so bored because she already knows how to do this, right? Okay, so now I'm going to have to pick an equation in order to substitute. No. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so just pick any equation that you like. Do you like the top one or the bottom one? Ready? Go. I like the top one too, <laughs> Anthony. So there's nothing wrong with the bottom one. I just like the top one, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into that one. Negative 4y plus 8x equals 16. And instead of x, step number 5 says I'm going to plug in 1. So I'm going to put 1 into the x. Okay? So now let's keep going. Negative 4y plus 8 times 1, I'm going to put in pink. And that equals 16. 8 times 1 is 8. And so now it's going to be negative 4y plus 8. And that equals 16. Now I know that I need to find the y. So what do I have to do to both sides, guys? Minus plus 4. What? Yes. I have to subtract 8 from both sides. You always add or subtract, and then you divide. Remember? So then negative 4y is equal to 8. I still want to find out what y is equal to, so what do I do to both sides, guys? Divide by negative 40. Yay, thank you. And guys, a lot of you will forget the negative, right? A lot of you just divide by 4. But no, that is really wrong because don't forget, we have a negative here. So please remember to divide by a negative 4. This is very important. So there you go. Now y is equal to what? Negative 2. So now you got to write your answer. Step number 6. Write answer in parentheses form like that. Okay? So it's going to be x comma y. So there you go. What's your answer? What was x, guys? 1. And y was negative 2. There you go. All right?